Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ammar al-Shukri here. Wanted to give you a quick tour of Clear Lake Islamic Center. Learn, pray, play is the motto. I believe that this is one of the best designed masjid in the United States. And let's see if you agree with me. So as soon as we enter here, we've got the shoe rack area. And uh, what you'll notice is the plants. You'll notice how light the colors are. It really, alhamdulillah, is a great atmosphere when you walk into the masjid. You feel good. It's always spotless. It's always clean. This is actually post Juma. This is, so the message is at its emptiest because everybody just came, prayed Jum'ah and left. But at the same time, it was at its fullest just an hour ago. And so for it to remain spotless like this is just uh, very beautiful. So the message is actually here. You'll see the recycling bins. The masjid is a green masjid. It's very environmentally friendly. And so there's actually, it's a paperless masjid. Everything that's communicated is communicated via those screens. And there are lots of screens. You'll see in the musalla, you see a number of screens already. This is the men's musalla, it's the main musalla, and uh, it fits around 500 people. This masjid is, uh, the president of this masjid and the imam of this masjid is Sheikh Walid Basuni. Here we get a glimpse of how the masjid looks during taraweeh. So uh, this is from taraweeh a couple of hours ago. Here you see Sheikh Walid, kind of a quick cameo. And um, this, uh, this masjid, alhamdulillah, really takes into account all of the different factors of the family. Here we see... A, uh, this is a, a mechanism for our fundraising during the month of Ramadan. And here, if you want to contribute to the message, you have this link on your screen. This takes us, I'm slowing down the video so that we can get a, a decent a glimpse of the women's area. So the women's musalla is right behind the men's musalla and it combines between a one-way glass as well as an open area. So for women who want to have an unobstructed view of the khatib or the class or the salah or what have you, they can pray in this unobstructed area. And those women who want to have their own privacy, but still be able to see everything, they have this one-way glass also. As well as there being a mother's room that's separate for uh, women who want to come and pray taraweeh with their young children so that they can pray without feeling like they are bothering other women who are praying as well. Here we have a theme wall. And this is the theme every year that the masjid chooses. Uh, and we have a, a beautiful and a wonderful local artist who comes and brings that theme to life through his art. This year, the theme is strength. Over the past couple of years, the themes have been things like happiness and taqwa and cooperation. That is the masjid's office. And now we come into the community hall. And the community hall, of course, transforms according to local events that are happening uh, that the masjid is hosting. So here we have it set up for iftar, of course, during the month of Ramadan daily. This is our, our fish tank. This is our very, very important coffee vending machine, as well as uh, the kitchen. The community hall is divided up. It's, uh, it's a general space. It can be used for weddings and events and programs. And this is an example of uh, the program after Taraweeh with uh, Adam here photobombing the, the recording. But the community hall can be used for large programs. Here we have a kitchen on the brother side and the sister side. So the brother side is on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side where I'm walking is the sister side. And outside of Ramadan, it's lounges for the women and for the men. And on their sister side, their lounge actually opens up to the most popular section of the masjid if you're a kid, and that is the playpen. So the sisters can sit in their lounge, and here you have the glass. This is actually a soundproof glass where they can look in and enjoy themselves as they watch their kids have this place rocking, as they do during taraweeh and any time there's a program in the masjid or any time they're there at the masjid. I have a nephew who came and visited me in Houston, and until now, he's seven years old, until now he's always asking me, can I come back to the masjid that has the playground? So we're walking by, as you saw, got a glimpse here. The sisters have their own kitchen as well. We are walking now to uh, pretty much the end of the masjid. And there's two more things that I want to show you. On the left-hand side, we have a youth director's office. On the right-hand side, that's a glass that opens up to the, uh, the kids' playpen. Here we have two more rooms. On the one-hand side here, this is a multi-purpose lounge as well. Uh, right now in Ramadan, it's being used for the youth. The youth have their own Qiyam program. They have their own Taraweeh program that's a little bit lighter so that they can still get their Salah in and their Taraweeh in, but they also have a separate program. And then here, uh, let's get our thumb access going. This opens up to the gym, the Masjid's gym. And I know so many youth all over the country 
who would love to have access to a gym like this in their own masjid, whether it's it's got all of the essentials, whether it's the punching bag or whether it's the free weights or whether it's the squat rack, you know, the aerobics, the wooden floor and, and the mirror for the aerobics with the mats and all of this type of stuff. So this masjid, as you can see, I hope has really taken into account just any member really of a family uh, trying to make sure that they have a space for them. If you like what you've seen, you're impressed with the layout of this masjid, then do two things. Number one, share this video and share it with your local community. And maybe inshallah ta'ala, it'll inspire us all to think more about the different people of our community and trying to accommodate them in our masajid. And number two, if you'd like to contribute to our masjid, here is the link below. And we appreciate every donation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.